What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general book reading for sign of Cancer for October 2022. This could resonate if you have Cancer in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, behavior in your chart. Stuff for the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free, free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general book of reading. Love and appreciate all my new subscribers, all my oldies but goodies, uh, A1 Day Ones, um, everybody. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Love you guys so much. Uh, if you guys would like to donate, type in the by the link in the description box below. Um, and personal readings are open, but you have to read the um, information in the description box below. You have to text me if you're interested, okay? Um, I did receive um, three channel messages as I was meditating on your energy for October of 2022, Cancer. The first one I heard, um, someone is about to, um, um, someone is about to notice um, dead animal bones. Um, um, and I heard, um, Dead animal bones and keychains of um, strange uh, crystals um, thrown up on their property. Um, and I heard several times, several incidences. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, now I heard someone, so it could be you or somebody you're connected to, but dead animal bones and keychains of strange crystals. Uh, sounds like hoodoo, voodoo, and witchcraft, if you ask me. I've had that happen to me, for anybody who doesn't know. I had that happen to me about four years ago. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, it was about four years ago. It was about 18 or 19. Three or four years ago. Um, about three, I didn't have the strange keychain with the strange crystals, but I had the uh, dead animal bones. Somebody kept throwing them up on my driveway. It's about three or four years ago when I worked at a veterans home nursing facility about 15 minutes away from me as a night supervisor. It happened about three times. I had to sweep them off my driveway. I did it all three times. So I don't know who this is for or how that resonates. It could be you or somebody you're connected to. I heard someone. <clears throat> so it doesn't necessarily have to be a cancer, but it could be you cancer or somebody you're connected to. But Someone's about to start having about the same crap that happened to me in the past happen. Like I said, I didn't have the strange keychain with the weird crystals. Um, the crystals are going to be hexed. It needs to be trashed immediately. Oh my God, this is worse. The crystals are going to be hexed. It needs to be trashed immediately. So some kind of keychain with some strange crystals that are hexed. Um, okay, so that's definitely hoodoo, voodoo, and witchcraft. Definitely dark arts. I heard it needs to be trashed immediately. Of course, you could take the advice in the spiritual downloads or not. Um, but I heard it will be thrown up on your on yours or somebody you're connected to's property. So mine was on my driveway. However, this is on somebody's property. It could be on their walkway, their driveway, their yard, wherever. Somewhere on somebody's property. For some, you could get notification of this. You could find out about it. For some, it could happen to you. For some, it could happen to somebody you know or care about. Or what have, maybe a neighbor. I'm not sure. But somebody needs to be careful, okay? I heard dead animal bones. The What happened to me was dead squirrel bones. It was dead squirrel bones. And I brushed them off when my kids got home from school because I didn't want to scare the hell out of them. But whatever animal bones it is, it could be anything. Uh, mine was squirrel. But you plug it in, how it resonates, okay? But I... Our dead animal bones and keychain, uh, some kind of keychain with some kind of her, um, hexed crystals. I heard with the keychain to be smart to throw it away immediately. Take the advice or leave it, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Okay. Wow, that's some strong crap. That's one situation one. The second one, uh, hold on, I got deep into that one. That was uh, message one. Message two. Um, <clears throat> Hold on a second. I'm sorry. Crap, I forgot them. Give me a second. Let me shuffle out and see if I remember them. Spare message is your sign of cancer.
Oh, a vehicle accident is about to become very significant. A vehicle accident is about to become very significant. That was two. A vehicle accident is about to become very significant. So we have the animal bones and the keychain, uh, hex crystal keychain uh, about to show up on somebody's property. And I heard several incidences of that. And with mine, it happened three times with the animal bones, I just want to say. Um, and then, so however it happens for you or somebody you're connected to, and then some, something about a motor vehicle accident about to become very significant in one of you guys' lives. So that could be you or somebody you're connected to. Um, some It sounds like, to me, that could have already happened, past energy, or it could be upcoming. Um, some kind of motor vehicle accident becoming significant, whether it's already happened in the universe or it's about to happen. How that resonates and applies cancer, okay? And I can't remember the third one. If I remember it, I'll let you know. Spirit messages you have with me. Spirit messages you have with me for sign cancer. Frauded Section 8 vouchers are about to become very significant in Cancer's life as well. Okay, I just got that one. That wasn't one of the three, but I heard frauded Section 8 vouchers are about to become very significant in Cancer's life as well. I hope you're not frauding Section 8 vouchers. That's a federal offense if anybody needs to hear that. That's very serious crime. Frauded Section 8 vouchers are about to become very significant in your life. So maybe you are helping uncover the fraud of Frauded Section 8 vouchers. Hopefully you're on the positive end of this. Hopefully you're not using somebody's Frauded Section 8 vouchers. Um, hopefully not. But only you know your situation and story, not anybody else can answer, okay? Holy crap. Mountain, major challenges overcome, hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Scales, keep your life in balance. A drug diverter is about to be caught at a hospital and a skilled nursing facility and a behavioral health unit facility. This person has been tracked for months. There's evidence on this person. They're about to be caught. It will go very public. Holy crap a moly. Some kind of drug diverter energy. Um, like a, It's like a drug trafficker, except they um, do it through like skilled nursing facilities, behavioral health units, and... Um, Hospitals, because they have easy access to drugs, basically. Um, ooh, I heard they've been tracked for months. Somebody's been on to them for months, apparently. I heard they're about to be caught. It will be very public, so I think authorities are about to move in on them. I mean, it sounds like the authorities already have their evidence, or they're gathering it now. Um, it's coming in your reading, Cancer, so I feel you could be, hopefully, on the positive end of this. For some, maybe you're the drug diverter or drug smuggler. Or what have you, what have you. But I heard they're about to be caught. They're about to be caught soon. I, I think they already have the evidence on this person. They already have it. And um, they're about to move in on this person. Holy crap. And it's three different situations, it sounds like. I heard a hospital, a behavioral health unit, and a skilled nursing facility. Um, those are three different types of areas. Um, so, woof, you plug it in, how it resonates. Woof. Um, drug diverters can be many different people, just to let everybody know. Um, they, they can work in pharmacy, like transporter for pharmacy, for pharmaceuticals to the facilities and the hospitals. They could work in the hospitals as like a, somebody that has access to drugs, like a RN, a LPN, a CRNP, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Farm tech, what have you, what have you. Um, they really, really could work in any aspects. Um, as long as they have access to drugs. Woo! 
Transformation, number eight, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number eight, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number eight, transformation. For some, you could be dealing with Scorpio, or you could have Scorpio in your chart because this is Scorpio energy or not. And for some, you could be dealing with an earth sign or another water sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in heaven or Jupiter charts, if you are. Hmm. Fair. A cancer is about to have to stand up for their child in a huge way. Your child is being bullied at school for one, for one, the father is wanting nothing to do with the child. It was a workplace affair. Oh, man. So you plug in how it resonates. Okay, so for whoever this is for, um, one of you, it's two different situations. For one, it's both of them, you're standing up for your child. Both. Uh, one, your child's being bullied at school, so it sounds like currently. So I feel this is mama bear or mama dad energy standing up for your child. Bullied at school. My kids have been bullied at school. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. That's situation one. Situation two um it's some kind of workplace affair energy it sounds like you have had a workplace affair with someone in your place of work and have produced a child with this person is what i'm feeling and the i heard the father wants nothing to do with the child so you have to stand up to the father maybe for child support or to be an active part of the child's life or what have you what have you um in situation two i feel your fan in situation two i feel your fan because i heard the father wants nothing to do with the child but i feel you work with this father and I, it was a workplace affair but it produced a child but now the father wants nothing to do with the child like illegitimate child energy is what i feel here for situation two so for situation two i feel you're a femme like mama bear energy and you have to ha probably have to have a conversation with this father and real tell him if it of course you can take the advice or leave it but if it was me i'd be saying hey you know you produce help you i had the eggs and you had the sperm we produce the child you want to give me some child support and you want to you need to be a active part of this child's life because you help with the sperm to produce the child of course you can take the advice or leave it but sometimes those conversations have to be had if anybody needs to hear that you know i mean i'm just saying but in situation two i feel you're a fan and you're about to go in mama bear mode it could be about child support or him just not wanting Nothing to do with a child because maybe he's embarrassed because he never meant to produce a child out of some kind of workplace fling. And I feel for some, you still work with this person. For some, you may not. Um, but I heard it was a workplace affair energy. So whether you still work with them or not, I think you work together when you produce the child. I definitely think you're a feminine situation one. For situation two, I mean, um, I'm sorry, in situation two, I feel you're a feminine. Situation one, I feel you can be a masculine or a feminine. Um, how that resonates, that applies. But uh, as far as your child being bullied at school, I feel you can be mama bear, mama dad mode. You plug it in, how it resonates, cancer, holy crap. And that can um, that can be balancing the scales. We are in Libra uh, energy. We are in Libra energy. Um, balancing the scales. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. Help with the father to actually be a freaking father and not be like a illegitimate father energy. In situation two, in situation one, um, getting some help um, with the bullying of the children. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, you can report. You can report officially through the Board of Education if your child is being report um, being bullied. For example, in Huntsville City Schools, there's a bullying reporting form. For anybody who doesn't know, there's a bullying reporting form. If you reside in Huntsville City Schools or any city schools, look on your on the website, there should be, I know at Huntsville City Schools, there's a bullying reporting form on the very front of Huntsville City Schools tool. Now, I don't know what city school system your child or children are in. I'm sure it's different for all of you guys. But look on your, on the portal online at the bullying, at, on your, on the beginning page of your school's portal. There should be a bullying reporting form. I would utilize it. Of course, you can take the advice or leave it, okay? 
because they have to, if you make an official report, they have to do something about it. They have to. You pay taxes to these school systems every year. You should, you, they, they should do something about it. I'm serious. I didn't do the bullying reporting form when I first moved here. I called the principal. I should have used the bullying reporting form. And I'm serious, okay? Of course, you can take the advice or leave it, okay? Dolphin. A water sign is going to want you to go to the club with them. No, if you do, there will be some major chaos and the police will end up getting called. Drugs will be involved too. For one, you know this, you do drugs with this person. For one, you don't know. Oh, Lord. You plug in how it resonates. Okay, so there's two situations here. One, you know there's drugs involved. One, you don't. Um, both situations, it sounds like you're about to be invited to the club soon by some kind of water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates, it applies for you, Cancer. But for one of you guys, you know drugs are going to be involved. For one, you don't. Um, but it sounds like in both situations, the, the police will end up getting called. And it is to a club. So I think a nightclub, a comedy club, a, some kind of club. Um, it hasn't happened yet. It doesn't sound like the, uh, invite has happened yet, but it sounds like it's upcoming. If it was me, I wouldn't go, but of course you have the free will to go to this comedy club, nightclub, whatever kind of club it is. Cancer. It's a water sign. You know this water sign, whoever they are, they can be masculine water sign. They can have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates and applies for you, Cancer, Okay. Mountain, major challenges to overcome. An Aquarius, they got a million dollar contract. It's about to be taken away through many series of chain events. One, you're going to help it be taken away. For one, you're going to be shocked. Oh my God. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay. I heard an Aquarius that got a million dollar contract for one of you. There's two of you guys. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Um, some kind of Aquarius. Mask with an Aquarius. They, they, they got some kind of million dollar contract, apparently. It sounds like already in the universe. They've already acquired it. I heard through many series of chain events, they're about to get it taken away. I heard for one of you guys, you're going to help get it taken away from them. So they've done something, I think, against the law or against the contract or broke the rules or something against policy procedure or what have you, what have you, and you're going to help them get it taken away. For one, you're going to be shocked they're going to get it taken away. So whoever you are and however you're connected to this Aquarius, but it sounds like the Aquarius already has gotten the million dollar contract in the universe. So whoever this person is to you and how that resonates, that's going to be transformation in the universe when they get it taken away. I feel they have broke some kind of policies, procedures, or ethics or rules or something how that resonates and applies okay hand in need of help assistance and guidance A cancer desperately needs childcare. Okay. Um, that's all I heard. A cancer desperately needs childcare. So you need and help and need help assistance and guidance. You need child care, major challenges to overcome child care. Uh, one of you guys needs child care, so you are um for some of you you'd be a single parent, for some maybe not, but you need child care in some shape, form, or fashion, whether you have one child or two or two plus children. I feel that's a combination of this as far as needing child care in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, whatever you need the child care for, I'm not sure. 
Um, maybe you want to get a job. Maybe you need to go out of town for the weekend. I'm not sure, but one of you guys is in desperate need of childcare. Um, just to let everybody know, if you qualify under a certain amount of um, income, you can qualify for childcare assistance, like free childcare assistance if you're under a certain income. Um, you have to check it out on your state's portal, but it is available for anybody who doesn't know that, okay? A cancer is about to deliver important information on their boss soon. Very important information. An affair with the Pisces fam has blown all to hell. It has blown the office all to hell. About to get out of this office. Oh, God. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So one of you guys works in an office setting with a boss, a masculine boss. Um, but apparently he's having an affair with a Pisces femme. And apparently the Pisces femme is blown some kind of affair with him and her. And apparently it's blown the workplace dynamic all to hell with, um, with her having an affair with him. It sounds like a bunch of crazy drama, if you ask me. But anyways, whoever you are, Cancer, you work in this office workplace situation you want out you want out because i heard apparently him having this uh, affair with her is causing the office dynamic to just crumble into smithereens so i think you're about to reach out to another job situation and see if you can get in another office setting or another office workplace or i didn't hear specifically what office workplace you work in i don't know but um maybe it's medical maybe it's legal maybe it's whatever whatever but I think you're about to reach out and you need in help of another job, reach out to somebody else in another office setting or whatever career field you work in to get out of that crazy chaos dynamic. He, your boss is having an affair with a Pisces fan, if that resonates. So you need help getting out of your workplace setting so you can find another job. Major challenges overcome, get out of the workplace setting. Oh, God. And that's going to create trans transformation. Major challenges to overcome. A cancer is about to find very illicit photos of a tourist prostitute on a co-worker's phone soon. One at your boss. About to send these photos to the police. What you don't know is sending, you're about to send these photos to the police, but you're about to help apprehend this person. They're very, they're very high up prostitute in your city and they, many high up officials and people utilize services from this person. It's a feminine energy. You're about to land this person in jail. Holy shit! Whoa! Cancer! Damn! Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> you go with your bad self. Oh my god, this is wow! Okay, so you might be the same one in the office setting or a different setting, but you are in a workplace setting too if that resonates for you. For some, it's your co-worker's phone. For some, it's your boss's phone. But you're about to find these sexy, illicit, like, Naked or almost naked as type photos of this Taurus femme prostitute. I heard prostitute, so I don't think it's a man. Taurus femme prostitute. I think it's a femme. And, uh, <laughs> wow. You haven't found them yet, but it sounds like you're going to find them soon. You're going to find them soon. Oh, my God. I heard you're going to find them soon. Um, But I heard you're, once you find them, it sounds like you're going to save them or screenshot them and send them to yourself. Is what I'm feeling. That's what I would do. Save them, screenshot them, save them, send them to myself. 
But how, whatever you're going to do, whether you're going to save them, screenshot them, send them to yourself, or whatever you're going to do, you are going to obtain them. I heard for some, they're in your coworker's phone. For, for some, they're in your boss's phone. But whether you save them, screenshot them, or whatever else you do to obtain them, you're going to send them, obtain them, and then you're going to send them to the police. But I heard once you send them to the police, you're going to help catch this person. Apparently, they're a very high up prostitute in your city. So you work in a city, uh, whoever you are, you work in a city. And the, apparently, this tourist prostitute, I feel a femme, I heard she utilized many, not only your boss or your coworker utilizes sex services from her, but many people, many high up prominent people in this city utilize sex services from her. I heard she utilized many high up, like I think the judges or lawyers or uh, uh, business owners or business people or what have you, what have you. Many people utilize sex services from her. I heard you're going to end up getting her caught. Um, she will end up in jail and she will be shot. She will end up in jail and she will be shot. Cancer, you're about to put an, an escort in jail, like a, a real prostitute, like like a I'm sure she makes the big money. She makes a lot of money off these people. A lot of money. That's why she looks so good. Oh my God. I heard she makes a lot of money off these people. That's why she looks so good. So if you're wondering why she looks so good, it's because she makes all this money off these high-end masculines in your city. But you are about to be a catalyst to put her ass in jail. And she will narc on other people. And it's about to bring down a prostitution ring. Some of these people in this city. Oh my God, you are about to start a series of chain events to bring down a prostitution ring. Cancer, holy shit. I heard once you do this, she will narc. Once she gets put in jail, you're going to help put her in jail. Once she gets put in jail, she will narc on other people, other prostitutes, high-end prostitutes. And it's going to help bring down a prostitution ring in... High-end prostitution ring in your city. But you're about to create the series of chain events and the domino effect to make it happen. Holy shit. Damn, that's good. Whoa. So transformation, you're about to help bust up a very high-end prostitution ring in your city, ma'am. Um, I heard you were feminine, if that resonates for you. Holy crap. Whoa. A cancer really wants to rent out a particular home in a city, but they're about to find out the rental price of this home and it is about to blow their mind. Blow their mind. Extremely expensive. Oh, God. Okay. So one of you guys wants to rent a rental home in a particular city, so a city now is urbanized area, but I heard you're about to find out the rental price on this home and I heard it's going to blow your mind. It's very expensive. So whatever this rental home, you really want to rent it. You know where it is, I'm feeling. You know the location. It sounds like you really want this place, but the price tag is going to be very expensive. So major challenges to overcome. Very expensive rental property. Um, if that resonates for you. Holy crap. Keep your life in balance. A rundown trailer is about to become significant. Home health is about to become significant. A rundown trailer and home health is about to become significant. So maybe you are on home health or you utilize home health or somebody you're connected to is on home health or utilizes home health or you're a home health nurse or somebody you're connected to is a home health nurse. Somehow home health is significant and a rundown trailer. So maybe you live in a rundown trailer or somebody you're connected to does or you're about to run into somebody that lives in a rundown trailer or or however that resonates. Somehow a rundown trailer and home health is about to become significant. So how that resonates, okay? And a Scorpio is about to try to cause a lot of chaos in your life. They work on a different unit than you in a hospital. You're about to transmute the energy. 
Okay, so one of you guys works in a hospital, and I heard a Scorpio that works on a different unit than you, so they don't work on the same unit as you in the hospital, Cancer. They work on a different unit. Heard they're about to try to cause chaos, it sounds like, in your life or on your unit or something, but I heard you're about to transmute the energy, so you're about to turn the energy around on the Scorpio. Good for you, if that resonates. So keep your life in balance. Don't let the Scorpio get to you. Don't let them get your go. Don't let them... Um, Get y'all riled up, you know, transmuting the energy in a positive way. You go with your bad self, Cancer. A stripper you have been secretly dating is about to contract S STD. For one, you're going to pick up on it before you have sex with them. The next time, for one, you're not. And you're going to catch it. Oh, God. Wow. Wow. Oh, you're a masculine. Cancer masculine. Oh, wow. Damn. So you plug it in, it resonates. Holy hot diggity damn. So if this resonates with you, you're a cancer masculine. That's two of you guys. One of you guys, um, you're both secretly um, seeing a stripper. Except... You're having sex with them. Just saying, just saying. Um, so you're dating secretly, third party, situation shit, sneaky linking a, a stripper. Um, one, both of you are having sex with them, but uh, with the stripper. It's a feminine stripper. It's a femme stripper. It's a femme stripper. One, you're going to have sex with the stripper, but they already have the STD and you're going to contract it. That's situation one. The other one, you're going to pick up on the fact that the femme stripper has an STD before you have sex with them. So uh, hopefully you cut off the sneaky sex, sex, whatever, whatever this is, before you have sex with them. It sounds like one you are, one you're not. One, you're going to have sex with them, you're going to get the STD. One, you're going to pick up on the fact they have the STD, you're going to cut off the sex relationship. Keep your life in balance. People against the STDs, just saying, just saying. Major challenges overcome, the one that's about to contract the STD. Ooh. Trichomonas, herpes simplex. Trichomonas and herpes simplex is what I just heard. So I think the one that's about to contract and uh, uh, and gonorrhea and gonorrhea. Oh my god. Okay, so trichomonas, gonorrhea, and herpes simplex for the ones that are gonna have sex with a stripper and you contract it. Trichomonas, gonorrhea, herpes simplex. Just saying, just saying. Keep your life in balance for the ones that are about to contract these STDs. For one of you guys, though, you're going to be highly intuitive. You're going to pick up on the fact of it. You're going to cut the sex off with this person. Heard it's a stripper. You're secretly sexing this stripper or secret sex rendezvous with this stripper or whatever the hell you're doing with this stripper, but it's very secret. I'll tell you that. You're not telling anybody. For one of you guys, someone at work is about to find out the fact you're having sex with this stripper. They will spread it around, and it is going to embarrass the hell out of you. Oh my god, whoa, wow. So for one of you damn this is getting juicy. So for one of you guys, somebody at your workplace is gonna find out you're secretly having sex with the stripper. Um, and I heard they're gonna spread it around your workplace, it's gonna embarrass you. Oh man. For one, you're married. Oh, and for one, you're single. Oh. For one, you're married and one you're single. You plug it in how it resonates, cancer. Only you know your situation story to anybody else. I'm legally single with a big L-S. But you plug it in how it resonates. Oh. Transformation. Someone staffing is about at half right now in a hospital unit. Half. Desperately needs staff. Desperately. But no one wants to work on this unit or this hospital anymore because of the past. The, the hospital staff and administration knows they need to do something. For one, you're part of the hospital staff and administration. You... About to create a series of chain of events to help 
retain staff and get staff in, but the past is very haunting. You need to make it better with the community and people you have wronged. Know this. Oh, God. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So somebody's hospital suffering. I'll tell you that right now. Her, um, somebody's hospital unit is like a freaking half for the staff. Um, nobody wants to work there. Nobody probably even wants to get care there. Um, apparently, they're treating the staff wrong. They're treating the uh, staff and the employees wrong. They're just probably not providing good patient care. When people are in the hospital, um, I mean, the staff is at half? Damn, that's some crazy shit. But, I mean, well, it's not crazy. It's reality. But if that resonates, one of you guys is on the hospital administration and staff. I heard you guys, if this is for you, hospital administration and staff, cancer. I heard you, you, y'all know as far as the hospital staff and administration, you need to do something as far as gaining, regaining basically the community's trust back, the employees' trust, the former employees' trust. I mean, it sounds like you've really um, done some shy shit to this community and former employees. Um, and I heard you guys know you need to create a series of shame events, basically make, make it better. And I heard the confirmation from Spirit is yes, you do. Because it sounds like nobody wants to even go to this hospital. Nobody even wants services from this hospital. Nobody wants to work at this hospital. Nobody wants nothing to do with this hospital because of the past. So somebody, whoever still works there, which it doesn't sound like there's many of you guys there, you need to create a transformation to revamp your image and your reputation here at this hospital because somebody's tanked this into the damn ground. It is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But you guys did this to yourself, and you have to get out of this hole. Okay, I heard it's terrible, 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 but you guys did it to yourself, and you have to get out of this hole. So kind of like you made this bed, you have to lie in it. I don't know how you're going to fix it. Only you know how you're going to fix it. But it sounds like nobody wants to work there. Nobody wants to be around it. Nobody wants to do nothing to do with this damn hospital. But I don't blame them if something crazy happened, and that's just the truth. So however you guys are going to... Pray series of chain events to help fix it. That could be to keep your life in balance. Major challenge to overcome too. Build, rebuilding, rebuilding and gaining trust in the community and the world. I don't know what the crap's going on with this hospital, but this hospital sounds like it was really shady in the damn past. Um, but it sounds like the community knows it. The community knows it in a huge way. The community knows it in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates. So whatever series of chain events you guys are going to create, uh, cancer only you know man that sounds like a huge ass uh, challenge to overcome but i heard you guys did it to yourself so i don't know what the hell you did to the patients or the community i.e the patients or what have you what have you but or the people that used to work there because you're at half staff i don't know i love you guys and get not this love you namaste